Hey guys, this is Kurt from Acid Bite, and I am back with a very exciting tutorial today. I want to talk to you about our Morpheus transition. Until now, this was actually only available in Premiere Pro, but a lot of you guys reached out and asked us to make a Final Cut Pro version, so that's what I'm going to explain today. So, as you can see, I already have a timeline set up here with my two clips in it that I'm going to use for this transition. The first thing you want to do is go to the folder that you downloaded from us. In the assets, you'll find your Final Cut Pro folder and there's the Acid Bite Morpheus. And you need to put these into your motion templates. And you can find those in your user folder. Uh, you need to go into the movie folder and then inside the motion templates, we will go into the transitions folder and that's where we want to paste our Acid Bite Morpheus folder. And then you can grab your noise textures and your sound effects and import those directly into your project here. And now you can see in your transitions window, all of our Acid by Morpheus clips are here. And it's really simple from this point, guys. You just need to know if you're working in a horizontal or a vertical timeline because you can see that we're providing both 16 by 9 and 9 by 16 versions. So I am working in an HD uh, horizontal timeline, but these transitions also work for 4K, so there's no problem there. Just grab one and drop it between your two clips, and you're literally pretty much done with it. But you do have a lot of ability to tweak this uh, transition. You can tweak the length, as I'm doing here, or what's really cool is you can add your own custom noise textures. So that's actually why we provided you with this noise texture folder, which has dozens of options of different kinds of grain and glitch textures. But another interesting thing you can do is bring in any black and white photo, like our company logo, and hit apply. And then that's going to take the shape of the noise texture. And then, you know, depending on how clear or how, how your logo is scaled or exactly what you want to do, you have all these controls on the side that you can play with to make it more legible. Yeah, and it's that easy. Now we got a little acid bite glitch transition. Um, so that's about it for the 16 by 9 version. Uh, I'm going to show you now how to do this in a vertical timeline. My two clips here, one has been scaled up to fill the frame and the other one has just been rotated and both of these methods are gonna be fine for your footage. So I'll just come over to my transitions and grab one of my nine by 16 this time and drop it over here in the middle. And again, you're pretty much done. Uh, you can come over and add an image to the Mosh controller. Um, you still have all of these displacement and texture strength and scale settings. And you also, of course, have the sound effects that we provided. Um, any of these will work great with any of the transitions. And uh, just like in the horizontal version, you can adjust the length of the transition here. Um, you've got all of your effect settings in your Mosh controller. And as always, guys, we are really, really grateful for you downloading this. Um, we're really looking forward to seeing what you do with it. We keep up with what everybody does with our products, and it's very exciting for us. And I thank you, and I will talk to you next time.